Riley, thank you. Mr. Cox, you call your plan to reduce homelessness treatment first before housing. Mm -hmm. Can you define treatment and what would uh, happen to those folks who refuse to comply? You have 60 seconds. This is an area where the career politicians and the celebrities and the insiders who have controlled this state for so long have illustrated, you know, one of their worst uh, failures. Uh, I was driving down Imperial Boulevard in San Diego the other day and the tents are all over the place. What we've got to do is instead of buying... And if we have to, we'll have to force them to get treatment. I'm a businessman. I want to use common sense and get to the cause of the problem, not just treat the symptoms. So for that, we have to cure the addictions. We have to get them to live with the mental illness and treat that. But there's also a significant number of people on the street who cannot afford the life uh, in, a, in an apartment or a home. I'm in the apartment business. That's the business I've been in for 40 years. I build for a fraction in other states what it costs to build in California. And it's government. It's the politicians, the insiders, and these celebrities who have been running the state into the ground who have made government the, the reason why costs are so high. Same follow-up. How will you make California more affordable? Get government seconds. out of the way. We've got to amend CEQA to exempt housing. We've got to reduce the mandates and the lawsuits and the Im impact fees. This state is way too expensive to build in. It's the same thing with energy. We've got to develop more energy in varied sources so it's competitive. We need to do the same thing with water, more sources so it's competitive and it doesn't cost as much. And taxes. I proposed the largest tax decrease in California history, $30 billion, 25%. California's middle class pays twice what Colorado's millionaires pay. Right. It's wrong.